Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I'm really excited to share and to launch a whole new series. And this series came about because lots and lots of requests. Asta, can you bring the size of your containers down? Can you bring the size of your designs down? Because we don't all live in big houses. Well, I don't live in a big house either, but you know, I just like one big, whoa, look at that, that's amazing. So I've heard all of your requests and today is the start of how to put all of these flowers and it's also a lovely exercise in you know when you wander around the garden or you go for a walk and you nip that over from over the fence or that's growing where it shouldn't be growing and you just bring them in and you've got this big vase of or this big display of beautiful flowers like one dahlia but then two of something else and you've got one rose but you've got two of another kind of rose how do you design and get those to look beautiful in here now give me one minute because i've forgotten something sorry i'm back okay you could fill it with foam, but not everybody's got foam. And until the manufacturers understand that we want eco-friendly biodegradable foam, which you can get, but I can't get it here, we're not gonna use it. Okay, now, when I was a little girl, we used to use things like this. This is called a pin holder, or some people call it a frog. I call it a pin holder. It's heavy base and it's got all of these little wee sticky things up that these little weeds the little pins and this is to stick flowers into but it's better with fresh flowers because you can stick the stem down into it but it doesn't always provide with the base a good strong sturdy base so and also you have to make sure that this is wedged in to the bottom of your container. Now there's a bit, when I put that into there, it's kind of the right size, but there's like about a, a, nearly an inch of space. And I have to fill that up with something because that needs to be really, really solid in there. Because if you don't, it's your whole arrangement's going to just fall all over the place. Right, now what I like to do is, this stuff here is chicken mesh, or chicken wire, or galvanized wire. This is what I like to use. Now, just shove that down into there. Don't do it too, don't do it too squishy because we're going to go through that and that's going to hold our flowers. It's still gonna move, yeah, it is gonna move, but that's okay, I can fix that because we're gonna talk about length, the right length. So what I do is I just bring it into sort of like a little ball like that and then cut another piece that is marginally bigger than the opening of your container. And then just, you gotta be very careful with this. And might I suggest, if you're going to something special and you don't want your hands all knocked around, cause this will cut, that you cut it, you bend those bits in and also wear some gloves. Okay, so I'm just gonna wedge that into there. Now it's not attractive. Look at that, it is not attractive. It is galvanized wire shoved into a vase. It's whole purpose for this exercise is to give me structure to hold my flowers. Perfect. All of my flowers are here in front of me and the next is, hmm, what kind of an arrangement do I want to do in that? I've also heard all the requests for new kinds of designs and something that's like boat shaped or something that looks like a Hogarth curve. We're not doing Hogarth curves, but what we will do is we will take this lovely little round container and let's just bring it up. So we can go up if we want to, or we can go up and we could sort of start the exercise towards a beautiful Hogarth, Hogarth curve. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, let us begin. Okay, the first, and everything we're about to do is completely different from what we ever have done. And you know how I've got, not the rules, but you know what you do on one side, you do on the other. It's sort of kind of bit going to be the same kind of design fundamentals, but we're gonna cheat it up just a little bit. Now, I've always said that when you place, because I will cover that right now, the flowers can be one and a half times the height of your container. If you're stuck, just put your flowers down like that, add 
a little bit more and that would be the perfect length. If you go too tall, it's gonna fall over. So that's called visual and actual. Actual balance looks like it's visually not gonna fall over. That's the easiest way for me to explain it to you. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring that into there. And as I said, I want this to be sort of like a, like a, a lazy moon. Yeah, like a lazy crescent moon. So I'm gonna put that into there. And also I can go, I could put it into there. See how this stuff's, this stuff's really good. So if I want to go out the side like that, I need to go the same length or thereabouts on the other side. Now, designing with this kind of stuff, it's not easy because they will move all over the place, but you're not to worry about that because we can solve it. Now, there is a little bit of a rose leaf. Now, this is what you can do to start getting in. Oh my goodness, I don't know why that is so tight, so hard to cut. I know why it's so hard to cut, because I don't have my wire cutters, do I? I will not have a flower take dominance over where I'm going. Okay, so what you can do is you can put that into there to just give it a little bit more weight and stability. Now, is it still going to bend? Okay, this is what you do. Don't worry about that at this stage, but if it's going to move, right, we'll stop that and we'll cut that off so that now we do have a bit of control. Oh, hold on, it's still doing it. That's all right. And I want you to know that when I was doing the research for this, it is, I think, about 1965, 19, up to 75, these designs were all the rage. Okay, so now I cut that, <clears throat> and about now I'm thinking, oh, why did I do that? But that's okay, because I'm going to find another form that I could bring. So I've got that length out there. I need to reproduce the same length on this side. I'm just going to push it in at that. Now there we have it. Now I'm looking at that and I'm thinking are you still too long? But when I love all of this so why cut it? Let's just bring a nut, this one here and we'll make that just a little bit shorter. So it's not quite balance balance but it's okay because as we move our way into the middle we can start to sort of oh what will I do now okay so I've got this here and I've got this here what happens if I put that into there now it's starting to come right because I've got a little bit more bulk there so the eye actually is still sitting there and it's still floating across so we're okay for now all right the next to go in is let's just put another little ranuncular I'm just going to put that little ranuncular there Right, I've got a rose. Let's just bring that little rose into the center. I've got another rose, a bigger rose. Let's bring that. There is no right and there is no wrong way when it comes to doing this type of design. It's, to me, it is the most freeing of designs because you get to see all of your beautiful flowers. Now I bent that over and I'm gonna now have to unbend that because from when I did my little, oh, you better brief yourself with this aster, I can now work out, I could put that in there but it's just not gonna sit. But what about if I took it down and over to there? Oh, look at that, isn't that looking beautiful? It's beautiful designing and it's very free form and it's just so special. Now, will I put that there or am I best to bring all of my roses together and just put that down? Oh, that's better. So now I've got this bit of visual and I'm still looking at that rose and thinking, hmm, is that too far out? And to me, it is. So might I suggest that to stop all the mucking around, just attend to that now. Now look how much better that looks because I've got equal distance there. So my axis of my design is there or my middle was there. I've got this weight over here and I've got the same kind of weighted length on the other side. Now it still to me looks like it needs something. So let's just bring 
a little dainty down to the, oops, hold on, oops, it fell out, so I'll go to the back with it then. I'll just take that to the back like so, and then I'm going to bring this up and over, oh, perfect, and I've got this last one here, so let's just give that pride of place. And that can go there. Now the other thing that I love about these types of designs is if the flower wants to go looking that way, just let it do that. So is that. You can get to enjoy it. Now I have to turn it around now so is it, oh, oh yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Right, I've got one ranuncular, a bigger ranuncular. What I'm going to do with that is stick that. What do you see? This is going to look beautiful. It is hard working in this, but look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Just having that stuck down there. And when you're using the fresh flowers, what's really gorgeous is they actually fall much better than what the artificial do, but it's the way that you place them is the way that you're going to create all the different looks that you want. Now with this, I just felt that I would like that little baby up into there that's beautiful or do I want that so I think that that's what I love so much about this type of designing because you can now I was going to put that there but look what happens when I put that there it's two big round things together and the, I've lost that sort of lovely movement of the of making the eye move so let's just bring that up and into there so that when you look at the into the arrangement it's like Oh, look at that dear little ranuncular falling in over there. Now, I've got these two here. Do I want to create a bit more line and movement? If I do, I can put those into there. But are they just going to fall all over the place? Have I got enough room to do this? Yes, I have. So see just what's happening now, just by bringing that into there, I've got an even a different look. And then because I've got that there, I could actually bring that up and over to there, or I could turn that around and put it over to there. So it's about the placing of the flowers. But, and then I've got these little wee bits here, that little bits of foliage. Keep that foliage, but how beautiful does that look? On a sideboard, on a buffet table, just anywhere that you needed just a little moment of loveliness. I love this type of designing and I think that all of those years later, that all those past years, we should start bringing arrangements like this back into Vogue because I really love it as a concept in floral beautifulness. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you all again another day.